Welcome to day 13 of my 30 day security challenge. It's the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. You can visit snubsy.com for the whole thing or you can check out our video playlist over at youtube.com slash tech thing. Today let's talk about password managers. A password manager is software or an online service that stores all of your passwords in one place and can also assist in generating or retrieving passwords whenever you need them. Think of it as a digital safe that is used to store all of your secret passwords. This is a wonderful tool and it is highly recommended because not only are they super convenient in this day and age, but they are also crazy useful. Humans constantly have to remember so much. It's impossible to remember every single password, especially if you are using good ones. Now you might think, but wait, using a password manager means you'd be putting trust in another company to keep them secure, right? Yeah, that's true. It's true in some cases, but not all. Password managers come in various ways. There's online services through a web portal. There's local software applications, even local hardware devices. Any password manager you choose will require you to remember a unique master password to unlock the safe. Once it's unlocked, you gain access to all of those passwords stored inside of the safe. Now at this point, you might be thinking, seriously, another app to download? I can remember my passwords. All right, good luck with that. If you can remember them, that's great, but a manager is built to help you create stronger passwords that you don't have to remember. If you are using simple short passwords that don't have a mix of numbers, characters, symbols in different cases, or long phrases, you might be a victim of bad passwords. If you're using passwords that someone else has access to, like ones that are found under a keyboard, ones that you've texted to family, or ones that are taped to the side of your Wi-Fi router, I've definitely seen that, you might be a victim of bad password management. If you use the same passwords or a slight variation of the same password across multiple sites, or if you share those passwords with coworkers, friends, and family, you might be a victim of weaknesses in your password management. Any of those reasons are reason enough to use a password manager. Now, vulnerabilities are a possibility with any apps or software, and we have seen some vulnerabilities pop up over time against password managers. In all of these cases, the companies were swift to fix the issues and update their platforms. But because this is a possibility, over time, I have stored over 100 passwords in a password manager. That's a lot of passwords to remember, all with randomly generated passwords that I don't even know anymore, but I decided to never store my banking, email, or social network accounts inside of them. So this ensures that I have memorized about 10 different accounts that aren't written anywhere, all that use two-factor authentication as well. These are the crucial 10 accounts that are the backbone of my online existence. And as such, even if a password manager got hacked, the hacker would not be able to get into my email, my bank, or my social networks because they wouldn't have those passwords. Now, if my password manager did get hacked, an attacker would be able to get into sites that I shop at, my test accounts, my news site logins, etc. Yes, it would still be a pain in the bum to go in and regain access to those accounts, but it would not be as annoying as trying to keep all of those passwords memorized. Now, I'll talk more about two-factor authentication and creating good passwords in the next couple of days. Personally, I use LastPass, and I have been using it for several years. It is an online service that has a mobile and browser app, and it autofills sites whenever I visit them. This means that whenever I go to thinkgeek.com, for example, it will recognize the site and it'll fill in the username and password for me. That way, I don't have to copy and paste the password each time from LastPass. It just does it for me, which saves tons of time. It also has a password generation tool that can generate new passwords for me whenever I want. I don't have to memorize passwords anymore. Less stress, less to think about, more automation. That's a win for me. If you're not so keen on the idea of using an online service, and rightfully so, I am personally sacrificing some security by trusting an online service, then you can use a local storage option instead. These don't offer the same convenience an online one does, but they are much more secure. There are many other options for password managers, and some of my faves include LastPass, 1Password, KeePass, and Dashlane. Some are free or inexpensive, others cost some money for a license. Each of them offers great features and secure forms of saving your passwords. Now date 13 is now complete. You can check out the links to all of my favorite password managers down below. Tomorrow is all about setting up new passwords and some recommendations for those. But first, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and hit up snubsy.com for the downloadable checklist. And again, I am Shannon Morris and I will see you tomorrow for day 14.